yes, I think if any anybody has style, punch power, you know, full ability to beat Canelo Alvarez, I feel it's Callum Smith. He's not a massive KO, you know, knockout artist. I think he hits solid, you know, very respectful. But yeah, I think I've, I've spoke with Callum for a long time. Not not only for the past six, seven weeks. I've spoke with Callum for the past four years over, you know, things Canelo does well, things which he does not so well. Uh, first of all, I appreciate your time, uh, and it's always a pleasure to talk with you. How is everything, dear Liam? Yeah, not too bad. Obviously, um, tough, tough times with the, what's going on around the world. But you know, I'm coping okay. I'm, I'm good. My family is good, and I'm healthy. Amen. So this is the the five week Canelo Liam's uh, Canelo Callum Smith. Uh, this is the most important fight for a Smith family? Yeah, it's a huge fight. It's a huge opportunity for Callum to face, you know, one of the best fighters in the world, a defender's world title, and a chance to become, you know, a superstar himself and one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Definitely. But let me put it this way. As a Mexican, I understand that Canelo is in, in, in really dangerous situation because Callum, for me at least, he is the best from 168. What is your opinion? Yes, I think if any, anybody has style, punch power, you know, full ability to beat Canelo Alvarez, I feel it's Callum Smith. And I've said that for a long time now. And uh, I think the style is gel well. I think Callum's a big 168. I think Canelo is a solid 160. I don't think he's a big 168. And um, although he's a very, very good fighter, you know, he's a great fighter. I don't, I, I think it levels itself out with Callum's size. And, you know, I don't think Canelo can go in there and, and bully and walk through Callum like he does other people. So I think once he feels Callum's power, he will have to think twice about doing that. What, what is the thing uh, that uh, your team is thinking about? Talking about concern. What is the most dangerous uh, tool from Canelo? You know, his variety. He's got very good variety. He'll go head, body. Um, I've said since, since I boxed him myself, I don't feel he's a massive puncher. He's not a massive KO, you know, knockout artist. I think he hits solid, you know, very respectful. But I think it's more he finds gaps, he finds holes in defences. I think that's his best asset. And, um, you know, anybody, any any professional fighter at a world level hits you clean, it, it hits, you know. And I think Canelo, that's a big asset. He, he finds lots of gaps in, in targets. Definitely. I never ask about the strategy because I respect boxing and you know me. But definitely, you not, not only you can be, you are a big asset in, in, the, in your dream, in your brother's team. Because, you know, deep inside Canelo, uh, I remember I was having the interviews with you. I did the blow by blow down there in Texas. So uh, you are one of the biggest assets because, you know, like I told you, very deep inside Canelo. Uh, this is this is one of the keys for the victory? Yeah, I think I've, I've spoke with Callum for a long time, not, not only for the past six, seven weeks. I've spoke with Callum for the past four years over, you know, things Canelo does well, things which he does not so well, you know, the mistakes I feel like he makes, which Callum can exploit. So, you know, I've spoke with Callum for for a number of years now. And, you know, we've studied Canelo not only as opponents, you know, as fans, but we're, me and Callum are two, we're two boxing fans in general. And, you know, we watch Canelo, we like Canelo, as in we like the style of him. He's, you know, he's, he's in good fights, but, you know, now we study him as an opponent again and we're here to, to do a number on him and, and, and 
you know, get victory on them. You, you mentioned something really, really important, Liam. Canelo, to be honest, is like not a tall guy, even in 160. And yeah. Callum is a big, big guy in 168. So uh, analyze this, please, because uh, we need to understand that if you go for the mathematics, it's 18 centimeters more for your brother. Talking about the, the height. Yeah, but you know, boxing, boxing doesn't play out that way. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not gullible and deluded by that. Callum's got a big height advantage, um, and he's got to use a lot of that to his advantage in lots of parts. That doesn't necessarily mean he has to run and box on the outside for the full fight. You know, he's, he's powerful enough to stand and and make Canelo feel his power, but he has to be clever and use it when he needs to use the height. Um, if boxing was that simple, then every tall fighter would win. You know, with the both weigh one six eight on the scales, and they're both big, big fighters. You know, in their own right. But uh, I think you know, stylistically wise, Callum's a tall fighter, but can fight. He can he can mix it up. He can go head and body, and it's very rare to see. But you know, we're we're very confident going in this fight, and um, it's not like Callum's here to to make up numbers and. You know, say for Canelo Alves, Callum's here as the champion to prove he's the best 168 fighter in the world. Yeah. Well, what about the reach? Because it's important. I understand that maybe the hate, but what about the reach? Because your brother, he conquered World Super Series of Boxing uh, and, and he have a lot of power, but the reach is one of the, the keys for me. Yeah. He, he, again, that comes with, he has to use that to his advantage. He has to use that when necessary, when he needs to keep it long and, you know, keep Canelo at a distance. He's got to yeah. use, use that smart and, you know, he's, but he's also got to, he's also got to gain Canelo's respect. You know, you don't, you don't win fights at this level without gaining somebody's respect and he's got to hit Canelo and he's got to hit Canelo to make Canelo respect him. And again, I feel Callum Smith has got the power to hit any fighter in the world and Canelo's no exception. So you mentioned in the beginning of the interview, and, and you have a good point, that you think that, of course, Callum Smith have the power to knock out Canelo, but you don't think Canelo have the power to knock out your brother? Yes, I, I feel... Take Callum Smith and Canelo aside. World Championship fights at that level, they can all knock each other out. Yeah. They can all knock, like, you know... I'm I'm under no illusion. I'm not. I'm not. You know um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not blind sighted. Like Callum Smith's never been knocked out before. Yeah. Canelo Alvarez never been knocked out before. Never. But I'm fully. I fully believe Callum Smith hits Canelo Alvarez in the right place. He knocks Canelo Alvarez out. I'm also under no illusion that if Canelo lands clean on Callum in the right place, he's also got the power to hear Callum. You know, I'm not I'm not deluded by that. I'm not blind sighted, you know, I'm realistic in boxing and at that level they they all have the power to knock each other out if they land the clean punches. But I think there's fighters who you get hit on the arms, you get hit and you yeah. think wow, wow, they can really punch. And I don't think Canelo is a natural, natural massive puncher. And that's what I was trying to say. Look, Canelo's got the power to hear Callum. Of course, yeah. but Callum has also got the power to hear Canelo. Yeah, and let me ask you this because in in some interviews that I heard from Mexico, and I was really angry about it because they mentioned that Canelo, they give you only one month to train. Could you tell the people that it's a lie because you are a professional, guys? I know your family. I know you, and I truly understand that you're gonna accept. You're not gonna accept a fight, uh, like one month advice. You know. So please tell the people that it's a lie. Yeah, no, the, the, the fight got announced with four weeks ago. But Callum is Callum's in very good shape. Callum is fit, ready anyway. Callum was going to fight December nineteenth, whether it was Canelo or not. You know, Callum, Callum has to be in shape for him to, you know, what make 168. He's a huge 168 fighter. And I think Canelo maybe try to leave it as long as possible. 
for Callum to struggle with the weight, but it went. That's not the case, and you know we. It only got announced to the public with four or five weeks notice because of Canelo's situation with the court case with Golden Boy and etc. Yeah, and what about the rivalry between England, United Kingdom, and Mexico? Because we love beer, we love girls, and we love boxing. So <laughs> you know what I mean, right? We 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 are really similar, but we we are about to get a great rivalry in boxing. Yes, we are, and you know, Canelo Alvarez has got a very good record against British fighters, and yeah. You know, So oh, Callum Smith puts a stop to that and 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 wins one for the Brits because he, um, you know, he's he, he, he's he's a couple ahead of us now with the, you know, he's won a few against a few Brits. Me can let's all Callum, let's all Callum um, correct that. Yeah, two more things, and I appreciate your time. You're not gonna believe this, but in Mexico, uh, some part of Mexicans even here at USA. They don't like Canelo. Yeah, I know that. I, I thought... Uh, it yeah. Like yeah, and I got to say... But these people are going with your family, with Callum. So it's crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy. But, you know, people have... People all have their own... People have their own fans. People have their own opinions. And I know some, some people lost their... Um, you know, lost respect for Canelo along the way. I, I know that myself. I fought in in Hermosillo last year, and I was getting told by lots of lots of Mexicans that they don't really respect them. They don't. They, they're not fans no more. So, you know, there will be lots of there'll be lots of Mexican fans happy when when he loses. <laughs> Finally, what can you tell to the Mexican people? And what is Mexican boxing for the world boxing? Yeah, you know, obviously all the Mexican people are going to tune in um, for a great fight on Saturday, but. You know, we're fully, we're here fully prepared and we're here to, to prove Carl Smith the best 168 fighter in the world and one of the best pound for pound fighters. Well, uh, see you on Wednesday. I'm traveling on Wednesday. Uh, I appreciate your time. Say hi to Callum and thanks again for your time, dear Liam. No problem. Man. Thank you very much. God bless you, my man. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Si te gustó nuestro contenido, suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube. Y si no te gustó, también no puedes jugar boxeo.